In this video, you'll learn how to set or update a monitoring schedule for a specific loan worker, how to apply a schedule to an entire group, and how those schedules are used in the call-down list when an alert occurs. A schedule in OnGuard defines when a loan worker is actively monitored using the mobile app. It also determines when admins, dispatchers, or contacts should receive notifications. Let's start by setting a schedule for an individual user. From the User menu, select User Properties, then click Settings. Find the Use Schedule section and make sure it's turned on. Next, choose a day to edit by clicking the first letter of the day. You'll see the full day name appear just below the selector. If the switch next to a day is green and in the on position, that day is active. If it's gray and off, it's disabled. In this example, Monday through Friday are on, while Saturday and Sunday are off. To set your schedule, select the day. Adjust the on and off times. Then repeat this for each day as needed. When you're finished, click Save to apply your changes. Now let's set a schedule for an entire group. Go back to the groups level. Select settings for group users. Turn on the use schedule switch. Then, just like before, click the first letter of each day you want to edit. You can enable or disable each day and set different on and off times as needed. Once you've updated all days, click the sync button to apply the group schedule to all users in that group. Next, let's take a look at how schedules impact the call down list. Go back to the groups level. From the group menu, select group properties. Schedules help ensure that alerts are only sent to users who are actually on shift. But remember, schedules are optional. If someone in the call down list does not use a schedule, they will receive every alert, no matter the time. Here's how the call down logic works when an alert is triggered. Notifications are sent based on each contact's schedule status. If a call down user has a schedule and the alert occurs during their active schedule, they will receive notifications. If a call down user has a schedule but the alert occurs outside their active schedule, they will not be notified. If a call down user does not use a schedule, they will receive all notifications, regardless of time. Once your schedules are set, it's a good idea to test them. Have a loan worker trigger a panic alert during an active schedule window to confirm that the expected recipients are notified. Then later, have another alert triggered outside of the schedule to ensure off-shift users are not alerted. That's it. Thanks for watching.